What do you think happens in November? What, what, is, what, what do you want to happen? What do you think is going to happen? What should happen? I don't know about want because I don't think politics respect. If politics represented my wants, there would be a lot, a lot more lampposts. Let's put it that what way. What does yeah. that mean? You'll figure it okay. out. <laughs> we don't want to get demonetized. Um, I'm no Laura Loomer. Uh, the point being, I think he has it in the bag. You think he's going to win? I think Trump has it in the bag. And here's, here's my reasoning. Because I think it's very important as, as far as possible to get your emotions out of political analysis, right? And for me, the best indicator of future behavior is past performance. In 2020, she had her honeymoon period in her first debate. She came out, Biden, you're a racist. I was, that little girl was me. Goes up in the polls. Tulsi comes along. Has no, not only does she have not a response on the stage, Officer Harris, but then when Anderson Cooper, hardly some kind of alt-right freak, is like, what happened to the debate? She goes, well, I'm a top-tier candidate, so... And it's like, what? That's your yeah, answer? Response to the question <laughs> and then she all. collapsed and was down and to 1% left. and she didn't even make it to Iowa. I don't, and here's the other thing. Let's suppose she is the perfect candidate and Trump is the worst candidate. I wouldn't wish on anyone to put together a presidential campaign in 100 days. That's not a thing. That's a nightmare. Oh, right. So I think he has in the bag. And would you Would you prefer Trump to win? Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dodge the question, but I'm going to say, I'm going to kind of answer it. I am... Abs and I talked to Brett Weinstein on my show this week. We discussed at length. I am absolutely terrified of Tim Waltz. Yes. What? I, I think she has, I'll tell you in a second. I don't think she has much positions one way or another. She was a conservative. She ran as like this law and order prosecutor in San Francisco, whatever. And now she's trying to av avoid it. We're, as I said many times, and no one here disagrees, that what happened during the lockdowns gave a lot of very evil people some very useful information about what people put up with the government in terms of oppression. And they're cashing it in in the UK right now. And if Tim Waltz had his druthers, we would have that UK system yep. in America today. Has he done stuff and in his state that He said explicitly that hate speech is not free speech. Yeah. So I'm extremely, and I also think he's a sociopath. His, his wife said she opened the windows to smell the burning tires during the riots because it was like a symbol of, of, oh, of the times, a like history. Signal. That was so Not a virtue signal. It's, it's her she liked it. celebrating the rampage and the destruction because it suits her ideology. From the governor's mansion. From like, the governor's that's mansion. That's the weird, gross part about it. She's like, oh, yes, everything's destroyed, but I'm actually in safety. Like, she's not a business owner in the middle of Minneapolis that's having to, you know, later deal with the consequences of having to I'm going to text you the ruined. link, Tim, okay? Uh, I think you're right. Putting together— well, uh, uh, send it on, uh, on X. Okay. Uh, I think you're right, Michael. Having to put together a campaign in, in less than 100 days or about 100 days is crazy. And if you see that in the fact that Walt keeps getting caught in these like false stories, right? The, the stolen valor thing, this like, oh, yes, I have my children because of IVF, but actually it turns out they didn't use IVF at all. Uh, and you also see in the fact that they're trying to make Kamala Harris cool by relying on pop singers, which I find fascinating. What, what else do you want them to do? It's fun. Right? Uh, this is the thing. Like they, they need to like make it seem like she's already trendy. And that's why they're tapping into like Brat Summer or like the, the Waltz Harris camo hat. They're trying I to saw that Chapel Rowan was like, is this real? Because it's a ripoff of her merch. They're like, trying to this make is it all seem they're inevitable. Doing. Like it's a fait accompli. And also they it's it, every t they know that every time she opens her mouth, like disaster ensues. Mm-hmm. Which is why she still has not done a major press conference. Do you blame interview. her? I mean, it's a strategy for her, for, but like we are hearing from her from the stage, which is basically to say at a distance. They're not letting a journalist, even I don't though journalists them. are sympathetic to her. They get tried. They, they, they tried this with Hillary before, and it didn't work for them either. Mm -hmm. This is why I call you. You Gandalf, can fast forward to when he kicks them because you won't get into the po political. You, you're like I'm an anarchist. I can't touch the One Ring. I can't. I can only observe, but I can witness and explain it all. I, I, let me. Let me I, I, don't, let me, I don't agree with let that. Me, let me see the other's point of view. I think, and I, I don't think you guys here would disagree. I think the MAGA people disagree. I don't think if Trump becomes president, it's, it's, everything's going to be uh, um, all roses. Sure, I agree. I think the backlash is going to be insane. Yep. I think they're already normalizing violence and, and against political figures and against uh, citizens. So I think people who think he's going to come in and they're going to sit on their hands. We're up against some very, very malevolent people who've been at this game for a long time and would have nothing to lose. And it's very scary. I'm heartened, one thing, though. I'm giddy. At the idea that RFK, who I do think is a sociopath, would be in charge of the CIA. <laughs> oh. I, I, that I would be giddy about. I, 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 I am not a revolutionary. I am a reformer. And uh, I don't understand the worldview of Tim Waltz is communist China level psych psychotic, but I won't be involved in any way. I don't understand that. You don't think I'm involved? Well, I, I, I think you're involved, but, I, but it's, it's like the voting. 
I don't think the voting is a good, I don't think my vote's going to matter. And I, I think I've- Then why not just do it? Vote for Trump. Because there's a lot, I don't think it's a good use of my time. And I don't believe Trump, I don't believe Trump represents me. Trump does not speak for me. Yeah, I don't think he represents m me very well. But voting means he is representing you quite literally. Sure. So I don't think Trump represents me. He does not. I, I, I look at it more of as a mathematical equation though. So by all means, you know, don't vote. I don't know. But my view is I don't like the Republicans. Uh, I think I've said it uh, uh, quite a bit, especially over the past eight years. Trump is uh, of a certain character that I understand why people don't like, like the character sure. that he brings to the White House. They, they wanted the suit wearing noble commander in chief. That being said, no new wars, uh, timeline for withdrawal. I see a net positive presidency in, in Trump. I think he's a funny guy. And so math, the simple net positive, the, the math there is, I'll vote for him. The, I, I would rather have, I don't want the guy in the suit, the nice guy in the suit, because that guy, nice guy in a suit, can pull off convincing uh, moms that it's a good idea to kill their sons because he's respectable, he's on a pedestal. Whereas if you have a president who's regarded as more of a buffoon, as both in their ways Trump and Biden were, it's a lot hard to sell World War III. Is that what right. you mean by wearing a suit? You can sell it, t tell the, sell it to the mothers that then go. To I war. think when you have an air of dignity and heft and seriousness, and you're like, we need to go to war. A lot of people be like, we're raised, mm. like, okay, this is put, this is our well, time. I have to be a patriot and I have to kill my kids. You're, 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 you're in Texas. Yeah, and you know, as you mentioned, Ted Cruz only won by a couple points. So isn't it if it if it doesn't matter one way or the other? Why not just vote? I didn't say it doesn't matter one way or the other. I think I don't think it's a good use of my time, and I don't believe in it. That's the whole. It's the same reason I go to church. I think church is a good thing. I think it's a very good thing when people find God or Christ and accept morality into their lives. But I don't believe in it. So, is that to say you don't think it would have any impact whatsoever? Like it's, it, it, it's both. It's both. I don't believe in it, and I'm opposed to it. And also, there's no way my vote's going to be of any significance. So I disagree with this. I, I, I can certainly agree with you if you think it's not going to matter anyway. If we make the argument Texas is not going to is not at risk at all. What does it matter? Fine, whatever. But I certainly think it's it like there's significance and there's there's an important function to it. Sometimes What's an important function to voting. But I, 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 there's so many better things I could do with my time to make the world a better place. Five minutes. Uh, but yeah, we're talking about a couple minutes. Yes. Sometimes a couple minutes. Yes, applying absolutely. pressure in one place actually creates more resistance than if you didn't apply any pressure at all. So, Graphene. like, certain people might be better off not getting involved because of the way they're able to influence society outside of that paradigm. And you might be one of those people. I mean, you're you're like almost like a brilliant social scientist. If you get too political then the people that you talk to across the aisle might not want to be Here, as involved. Here's how I, let, let me say one thing. Here's how I influence politics. I donated money to two candidates. And that to me is more important and more efficacious than voting. I donated to Biden the primary because I want him to be the nominee. And boy, did I have return on that. Nice. Investment. But, nice. And I also donated to John Fetterman. And uh, these, nice. I, I, I know how to pick winners. <laughs> let, let me ask you, do you, do you think that. Dave Smith will vote for Donald Trump? No. Do you think Joe Rogan will vote for Donald Trump? Um... I don't know if Joe votes, but yeah, I think I if RFK drops out, I think, I, I think after what COVID, the COVID regime did to Joe, I think he would prefer, I can't speak for him. Well, I'm he guessing. did say twice he would vote for Trump over Biden. Oh, that's the answer. Okay. The he answer. then said recently that RFK Jr. makes the most sense, sure. but it's not an endorsement. Right. If RFK tomorrow, as we expect him to, drops out and endorses Trump. I think just listening to what Joe talks about, he's a smart guy. He often, he often he said explicitly, he said explicitly, right. so there's your answer. Well, that doesn't mean he's voting. Correct. He might just abstain. Correct. I think the reason he doesn't publicly state in the show that he's going to be voting for Trump is because he doesn't want to create the, the political tension for his I also for doubt show. he votes. He does much more useful things toward moving the needle than... It, it, I completely agree. But still, we have... That's a, why I've been screaming about these Trump supporters who have attacked him as often. Like, was, uh, you and I were on the same team with that. With Kat Turd, it's like, guys... I mean, and Trump himself... He, he posted yeah, on Truth that they're gonna, he's going to get booed the next time he goes to UFC. I'm like, dude, this guy is pushing voters. But what's even, what's even funnier is like Monday, Joe says, you know, RFK makes a lot of sense. Tuesday, Trump's like, F you, Joe. They're going to boo you at, 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 the, at, the, um, at the UFC. <laughs> Friday, I'm going to have RFC run the CIA. You know, he's going to say that tomorrow. It's just like ridiculous. You think I it's mean, CIA for sure? Well, I, I, J Junior put it out there. I think that's what, what, what um, RFK would want. Yeah. And I can't think of anyone better. I think he it's should be Health and Human Services. What's that? I think RFK should run Health and Human Services. Okay, you're th I think you're thinking too, too short term. Because yes, he'd be better in that maybe in terms of helping people. But in terms of uh, deconstructing the nightmare, 
You want so, him to uh, open so all the file cabinets. I, I agree with yes. Anna Claire because that's 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 the sort of the one plus one equals two. Like, here's his passions. Here's what he does. That's not always true. Did you watch Rogan? For what? <laughs> no, no, no. What, what was that guy? Oh. <laughs> what, what I'm saying is oh, RFK Jr. Terrence Howard. Terrence Howard, yeah. Let's talk about RFK it. Jr. is a very clearly, uh, very clearly passionate about environmental toxins and chronic illnesses. And so his passions fit here. However, the poetic justice yes. is head of the CIA. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think there are a lot of people who would want to go through the filing cabinet. So hopefully there's a, a good we also, bench of selections there. I really, really hope even even though be, we I, I can't even talk about this. Never mind. I'm going to abort this right no, now. We'll talk, about the, we'll talk about the after show. <laughs> Thanks for checking out this clip from Timcast IRL. Make sure to watch the show live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. Subscribe to this channel and we will see you all there.